Hi everyone, this is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. In this video, we are going to have a look at a new model called as Gemma Coder 3 12 billion model which has shown impressive performance on various benchmarks. The unique feature of this model is that this is a fine-tuned version of Google's Gemma 3 12 billion model and this has been fine-tuned on OpenR1's code forces chain of thought data set this really makes it very distinct because we have already checked out gemma 3 12 billion model in various videos and we have seen that it is one of the best models out there at the moment and then when it has been fine-tuned on this open r1's code forces data set this has brought in a lot of reasoning capabilities to this model I will be talking a bit more about this data set because I think this is one of the best data sets out there at the moment. If you're also looking to fine tune your own model and you want to bring reasoning capabilities to a model. But for now, let's get started and we will start the installation process. I would also like to give a huge thanks to Mast Compute who are sponsoring the VM and GPU for this video. This is the VM which I'm going to use. And this is my GPU card, NVIDIA RTX A6000 with 48 GPU of VRAM. If you're also looking to rent a GPU on very affordable prices, you can find the link to the website of Mast Compute in video's description with a discount coupon code of 50%. Okay, so while it installs that, let's talk a bit more about this model. So as I was saying, this has been fine-tuned on this Gemma 3 12 billion. Gemma 3 12 billion from Google was built from the same research and technology used to create the Gemini models and that is why it is one of the intelligent models out there at the moment. And if you want to learn more about this Gemma 3 model, just search my channel and you should be able to find heaps of videos around it. Okay, our Conda environment is ready. Let me install these prerequisites. Now coming back to the model, the main thing I wanted to discuss is the code forces chain of thought data set. That is a large scale data set which is available on Hugging Face and you can search it. This is a data set for training reasoning models on competitive programming tasks. There are 10,000 code forces problems with up to five reasoning traces generated by DeepSeek R1. So primarily, in this Gemma Coder 312 billion model, we have um, they have combined the DeepSeek's reasoning capabilities with Gemma's intelligence. Also, uh, in this data set, they haven't filtered the traces for correctness, but have found out that 84% of the Python ones pass the public test. There are a lot of solutions there uh, in terms of generators. There are checker interactors and a lot of good things. And I will drop the link to it in video's description. So please do check it out. I think you're going to enjoy it. Prerequisites are done. Let me run my Jupyter Notebook. And now let's download the model. The model is being downloaded. Meanwhile, let me also introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are iGenPod iGenBot lets you effortlessly deploy a personalized knowledge bot across platforms like Discord, Slack and others. It is ideal for open source tech communities and startups that provide user support. And I will drop the link to their website in video's description. And there you go. Interestingly enough, it was not able to fit onto my 48 GPU of VRAM and you can see that it has crashed. So let me move on to a bigger GPU and then we will rerun it and I will also show you the real-time VRAM consumption and at last the Java coder is now running as you can see all the shards have been loaded after uh, I have upgraded to a new GPU which I will show you shortly let's do the inference so what I'm going to do I'm going to do some coding and some logical reasoning and math problems and we will test it out in context of that chain of thought data set which I mentioned earlier you see here I am asking it a simple uh, directed graph question where I am asking it that given a directed graph representing roads between cities with tolls, your task is to find all possible paths from city A to city B that visit at most k toll roads. 
and then i'm asking it to explain thoroughly let me also increase this context so that we would have more data maybe i'll just go with 5000 just to start with let me run this and there you go we have the response and by the way it took long time for the model to come back around six minutes i would say so you see um, it starts very well it starts thinking with the thinking tag it is understanding the problem just like reasoning models do and then it is following the chain of thought stepwise so first step and then it is checking its own response there you go and then it is going through multiple cases it has understood the problem statement going so it is saying let me think again and then it is going through the problem which is quite a hard one there is a lot of thinking there you see and this is not some i would say garbage this is a thinking process which it is following which looks quite good and then it is putting in some sort of 2d array which is nice okay so it couldn't complete the whole stuff but anyway let me ask it another one maybe it would finish it this time sorry i'll just go down and then i'm just going to give it another one now as far as the thinking is concerned i believe that was spot on okay in the next one i'm asking it that you are given a weighted tree with n nodes each node has a spontaneous ignition probability a fire starts at node x determine the expected total weight of edges that will be burned assuming fire spreads across edges to neighboring nodes probabilistically explain your reasoning carefully before coding a solution in python let's see and while it does the reasoning let's also check the vram consumption and there you go it is consuming over 52 gig of vram so that is why it was unable to fit it fit on my uh, 48 gb of vram so quite a big footprint i would say and there you go it has given us the response you see again it is going step by step with the problem statement and then there are a lot of steps it is going through and there are step five step seven and all the steps looks quite good and then there is also some final conclusion and it has also then given us the code the python code looks really good very high quality code there you go so pretty good model i would say especially in terms of that chain of thought and very grounded to that reasoning data set from open r1 okay let me do a final test here now in the next example i am asking it to give given multiple human written editorial solutions for a particularly challenging competitive programming problem write c++ code that effectively merges the core ideas from these solutions to produce one hybrid approach explain which reasoning patterns and algos you selected and why let me run this and there you go the model has come back and the response look again very very whimsical it is understood the problem then it is doing a hybrid solution and these are the patterns so very targeted and grounded answer again it is going step by step and then this is a concise approach in c++ there you go again a very high quality code and it is then summarizing the code here so look very impressive model um, i'm very impressed let me know your thoughts on it again if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you're already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot thank you for watching